So it's been a very tough year, hasn't it, with lots of things worrying us, COVID-19 and worries about the virus and vaccines and all sorts of things, and it's still going on, sadly. But just before Christmas, the bright light has come, the first vaccines against this virus. And these vaccines, made by Pfizer and Moderna, are called mRNA vaccines. And it's a brand new technology, fantastic science has gone into the development of these vaccines. So mRNA, what does it stand for? It stands for messenger ribonucleic acid or mRNA. And it's this special recipe that can make proteins. So what is an mRNA vaccine? Well, RNA is well known if you're in biology, actually, it's a recipe to make proteins. And someone about 15 years ago, two or three labs said, let's use RNA to make proteins in different situations. And of course, maybe you could use it to make a vaccine. So vaccines are ways that the immune system is triggered to recognize something foreign. In this case, the RNA makes the spike protein from COVID-19 in your body. And the RNA goes into your muscle and begins to make the spike protein. The immune system then makes lots of antibodies to that spike protein. Amazing technology we're using kind of a recipe here, I guess, to make a piece of the virus. Now, very importantly, it's not the whole virus. It's just the RNA to make the spike that we're talking about here. And the RNA molecule has a second property. It stimulates the immune system. It's gonna recognize as something foreign in your muscle and kicks off the immune system as well. You get two for the price of one. You get the recipe to make the spike protein and an immune stimulant to wake up the immune system, which now makes antibodies to target that spike protein. So it's a wonderful example of brand new technology. And it took two or three things to come together actually. First of all, the RNA is wrapped in a tiny little fatty bag, a liposome. And that was invented as well. So the RNA is put inside the little fatty bag and that's ejected into your body and the fatty bag dissolves and releases the RNA. And hey presto, the immune system gets triggered to make antibodies. So it's been a very hard time, hasn't it? And yet science has now delivered this fantastic mRNA vaccine, bringing us huge hope, 95% efficacy with this vaccine. It was a dream about 15 years ago that mRNA vaccines would be actually a reality. And the COVID crisis has galvanized all this science to deliver this wonderful product. And even beyond that, this mRNA technology could be used for other diseases like malaria, for example, or hepatitis C, any infectious disease actually, and even cancer might yield to the mRNA vaccine approach. And who knows, we may have treatments for these other diseases as well.